Welcome back to Seasonal Swigs and Sweets. I'm John. It's been a while. I'm Amber. <laughs> um, so where have we been for the past... Like six months? Four months. Six? Since May. So, oh, that was the last one for Mother's Day, for wasn't Mother's it? For Mother's Day. Yeah. Well, it's been a long summer. I took the bar exam. I didn't. Amber didn't. And uh, we had more important things to take care of. But now those are all over. Yeah. Um, so we're back. So we actually did record an episode over the summer, maybe. Oh, yeah. We did it on location in Philadelphia. But it was only like 10 seconds. Maybe we'll work that in somewhere. Yeah. Um, Bonus features, perhaps. So anyway, so sorry that we missed the summer season. What can we tell you? But we're back. Um, we're this, is, this is basically, yeah, back and better than ever. It's basically our one year anniversary episode. And we're starting like we did last year with Oktoberfest. Actually, it is because we, we started this a couple of days ago, officially, oh. last year. I so had there a, you a go. reminder of it, and I was like, oh. Happy one year, even um, though we took three months off. It's very. So, yeah, today we're going to be reviewing Line and Kugel Oktoberfest. And our dessert is an apple strudel. Okay, so there's not much to be said about this beer based on the internet. It says the pride of Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Oh, Chippewa yeah. Falls. So the Titanic reference. Mm hmm Was Jack. Like the... Jack Dawson. Boston. The Do Boston Dawson. Yes, Dawson. Got it. Chippewa, Chippewa Falls, Falls Dawson. Dawson. Well, this is the Chippewa Falls lining kugels. Huh. Anyway. So... <laughs> So this is a German, yes. this is a German style Marzen, <laughs> and if you remember back when we started, we didn't know what a Marzen was. Or but we do now, right? Well, piss pants over here didn't know what it was. <laughs> so this actually tells us. Um, so anyway, it's it's a, it's a Munich style beer. It's pale with caramel malts and uh, uh, four specialty hops. So four, four, four. Four different. I'm sure that's varieties, not hops. I bet I'll so, taste every one. Uh, this is gonna taste, you know, a little sweeter, a little breadier than mm. the beers we've been having all summer. Um, so it's now it's the second week of September, right? So it, yes. today was the first day that felt like fall. Um, As in, it was it's, raining. It's and been gross. in the 90s here, but not today. In today Western was PA. like Whoa. 60 something. That's one smoky beer. Have we reviewed a lining kugel before? Didn't we do a winter you shandy? I feel like we have. But I don't um, think that was a lining kugel one. That was... Yeah. We used to have it up there. It well, was, it was St. Maybe Nicholas. I didn't keep the bottle. Yeah, you can go ahead. I don't know. You did for a little while. I remember I referred to it as garbage. Mm, well... Do you like lining kugel beers? Yeah. Some. I don't... I mean, it's not like I don't drink them all the time. Everyone I've had, I've hated, but... I, this is, I think, more of a straight-up Marzen than being mixed with lemonade or whatever it is that they oh, do. Oh, the shandy. That's yeah. not all they do, though. They have a couple of things, so. Anyway. Hmm. It smells stale. I don't know. Don't you think? It smells like, know. um... It's very strong, whatever it is, but... Yeah, it smells like, uh, yesterday's beer that's been left in the cup. When you're cleaning up after a party? Yes. Yes. It smells like college and desperation. Yeah, hint of cigarette butts. A little sad. Um, yeah. Not... I'm just looking yeah, at the label. Yeah, it doesn't have any taste. Oh, yeah, we forgot um, about the label. We're that whole practice. label thing. So, there's the label. Fall motif. Yeah, it's pretty shiny. It's always a plus. Um, oh, oh, oh. For the, for the, um, um, vexillologists in the audience, this is the, uh, flag of... Oh crap! Chippewa Falls, no. Wisconsin. <laughs> no, Bavaria. The flag of Bavaria. Uh, Thank you. John Thank you. John loves flags. Thank you. Now John, you all know. John does love flags. Yeah, I mean it's got a nice little fall themed label. There's a fedora on a the post. There's a. I mean it's that German hatty thing. Is that a fair going on in the background? A no, fall it's probably festival? tents, like a, a Oktoberfest festival. Tents. I think it's like Oktoberfest tents. It's a canoe. It's a canoe on here. It's pretty fun. I give it. A three out of five. I think it looks busy. <laughs> you would. Anyway, it says carefully brewed by Lennon Kugel family for six generations. I really enjoyed the button. Or the... Cap? Button. The cap. <laughs> it's late. I'm tired. Anyway, can we get drinking? All right, yeah. Let's yeah, get a, let's 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 get 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 a this, sip here. Let's go on. Oh, I, wow. Hmm. That's a lot of flavor. I get the caramel. Mm -hmm. 
so I've been tasting, um, hmm. I've had a few, um, Oktoberfest beers already, but ones that we've already reviewed. There's actually not that many Oktoberfest beers anymore. They're, they've really given away to the pumpkin ales and the other Halloween Oh, yeah, beers. all the pumpkin stuff's out, like, now. Yeah. I bought Christmas stuff today at Hobby Lobby. Oh, not beer, though. No, That would be trees. gross if Christmas beer came Christmas out already. Trees were well, what a, okay, anyway, that's a discussion the for the time. It's appalling. So, um... What do you taste? I got caramel, and other than that, not a whole lot, honestly. This is not sweet. Um, no, it's very balanced. Whatever I was, I was we... kind of expecting it to be sort of sickeningly sweet. I, I feel was... like I've been out of frame this entire time. I don't is think so. Is it possible? No, no, this, you're fine. This is where I had it before, so we're both in the shot. <laughs> I think we're both in the shot. <laughs> anyway. um, um, yeah, I mean, to me... You said it's had a lot of flavor. I don't think it does. Hmm. So. So, um, a lot of the Oktoberfest beers, it's all right. they're sweeter and maltier. This has a little bit more bitterness to it. Um, has kind of a, a tannic, like, sting in the back of a, in the back of a throat. Oh. It's not bad. It's very, it's a little bubbly. Like, it makes my mouth kind of hurt when I drink it. Hmm. And my lips. In particular. I think I think we're feeling some, uh, something similar here. Okay, it kind of burns. Yeah, this really doesn't taste like a Marzen. I mean, it does. It tastes like a Marzen um, from a Bad Batch or something. It's all right. Is, but this, is this from last year? I'm just um, kidding. It's, uh, I hope sure I hope it's not. I don't know. Uh, it's not. For a beer, I don't know. I would give it probably. Well, let's 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 recap the way that we do this. So we're going to review it. In terms of the style, and then in terms of beer in general. In general. So let's re review it as a Marzen. By now, you've had at least two Marzens such, from I'm the such show. an expert. Um, I honestly don't remember. Excuse what... me. I've been drinking lots of Marzens, and to me, this is a subpar. I don't Marzen. even remember what they taste like, but I'm gonna give it like a two. You thought it tasted like coffee last year. Did I? Well, yes, this is did. not coffee like to me. No, this is. And I can always find the coffee in something, so it's my specialty. <laughs> So how would you review it as a Marzen? I told a two out of five. A two out of I five. Guess. Uh, a shot in the dark here. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna uh, echo that, but two out of f well, yeah, okay, about a two out of five, and for beer in general, I'm gonna give it a two and a half out of five. Uh, I'm giving it a two also, like just a plain two out of five for beer. And this yeah. is not something that I would just want to drink. It has some kind of weird astringent flavor. Um, it's certain, yeah. It's not it's not as smooth as like a Great Lakes or a Sam Adams Oktoberfest. That's that's like real smooth and sweet and really invites you to the next sip. This doesn't. Um, tastes just a little stale. Yeah, I just feel like it's a little. It almost tastes a little watered down. To me, I don't know. I don't know. Saint Lex body. Yes, I guess. Uh, all right, so there you have it. So let's move on to the dessert. Let's. Okay. And we're, and we're back. back with our apple strudel. Strudel? Streusel. Strudel. What's the difference? I think streusel is like a crumble topping, and a strudel is like a puff pastry biz. Sorry, that's something my eye. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a bit of an eye twitch. He's really stressed about these strudels. Yeah, well, it's been a long time. So, um, puff pastry. We've worked so, a lot yeah, better we... than I. Uh, it did last time I tried to use it. All right, so like we did starting in the springtime, we're going to work in some pictures of this as we're talking about it. So how did, we, how did we make this? We made this by cutting up five Honeycrisp apples. Mm -hmm. you... yeah, so, we, so the recipe did call for Honeycrisp. That doesn't yes, sound very German. Uh, and if you can't get Honeycrisps in your neck of the woods... Get Pink well, that means or Pink Ladies. Pink Lady is actually only in the Americas. Oh, it can only be grown them. in the Americas. Love them so, much. so if you're in Europe, I would try to find another medium textured apple yeah. that is both sweet to eat and fun to bake with. Yep. Do you guys want to know more about apples? <laughs> John, Later. Knows, John knows lots Later. about apples. Uh, Almost as much to know about flax. <laughs> so we cut apples into slices. So we slice the apples. <laughs> That's step one. What was step two ever? That's it. Well, okay. I'm not entirely so, sure. What so did you we do? Took, what kind cinnamon, of was cinnamon. it? Cinnamon. Oh, um, 
Puff pastry. Puff pastry. So frozen we, puff so pastry. So we took frozen puff pastry, thawed it out, yeah. and we rolled it to uh, 12 by, by 16. 16. And, um, oh, and for everyone else in the world, that is 30 centimeters by, uh, whatever. You're welcome. So, <laughs> we are equal opportunity. The videoers. Um, so so we, we, we had this puff pastry, right? You got the apples mixed with a nice, like, cinnamon yeah. it's, it's mixed mix. It's mixed with and sh sugar, cinnamon, and vanilla extract mixed together. Let it sit, right? Let it sit, let it bleed a little bit. Then we sweat, I guess you could say. Then we, um, basically you wrap the apples up in it and make sort of a braid pattern. So what you, you have to, like, make some slices into your puff pastry in diagonal Bits. Yeah, and then, um, and then you, you, and you just wrap it. And yeah. ours, it's not like ours came out like beautifully perfect, but you, it, it you, looks nice. You don't wrap it like a burrito, you braid it, you yeah. know, like preteens us. And on you, the party. uh, haha, you braid it or you, um, brush it with an egg wash, just crack an egg. Mm -hmm. And so then what we end up is sort of this, you um, a little cinnamon sugar sprinkle, but yeah, it, slightly crunchy top. Mm hmm. And you can see the layers of apples in there. Yeah. They're very nice textured apples. Honey Crisp have just become ripe in, um, Western Pennsylvania. So last time I used puff pastry, I burned everything in the oven. But this, 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 this doesn't happen this time, so it's like. great. Yeah. So. All right, let's give her a try. All right. Hmm. It's a little doughy, and it needs a little bit more sugar, which I thought as we were making it. It only called for a half cup of sugar. And this is a good size um, strudel. You get like a, I mean, it's, it's pretty big. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's as big of a strudel as you're going to make. So yeah. I would say maybe um, taste the apples as you go along, see how sweet they are, and maybe add a little extra sugar because it tastes a little sour. You know what I mean? I think the apples should be a little softer. Maybe it should have cooked a little longer. I mean, they said... Just a little bit. We put it in for probably a total of 12, thir minutes. 12 to 13. Yeah. You can probably go a little longer, as long as you're not burning it. Yeah, yeah. but the apples do have a good texture. That's supposed to be a little, a little softer, mm -hmm. a little bit. But all in all, it has a good, good flavor. Yeah. I mean, I think. So yeah, if you're gonna have a dessert at an Oktoberfest party, well, maybe you'd go with the uh, the kugel that we made last year. Kuchen. Kuchen. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> kugel savory. I don't know what those are. It's, a, it's, it's not that. It's a. Uh, um, Lion and Kugel. No. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel. What does that mean? That's a Kugel. Rachel, what's a Kugel? No, it's a kosher. It's kosher food. It's we kosher we food. have a guest. She doesn't want to be on camera though. All right, but anyway. Um, it's a what? That's a what? Rachel, speak up. We can't hear you. It's a pudding or a casserole from egg noodles or. Pizza. Yes. Yeah. You can. Use, anyway, it's the savory a thing. A pudding. All right, we're, we're going to cut most of this out of the feeling. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, no, we're not. Uh, if, if you can't make the apple cooking from last year, I would try this for your Oktoberfest party, and it should be pretty good for Leave fall, too. Leave it in the oven a little longer, if you want. Your mileage may vary, basically, yeah. is what we're telling you. Yeah. But it's so, a pretty solid recipe. I'd say i give this probably a 3 mm -hmm. out of 5. Yeah, I, I would give bad. it about a 3 out of 5, too. Yeah. It also looks more impressive oh. than... <laughs> it looks more impressive than it Food is. Food taste, yeah. Well, I mean, it looks more impressive than the effort we put into it. Uh, yeah, it's there was minimal it, effort. Yeah, it's actually very simple to make, and it kind of looks like you did something different. The longest yeah. the thing that's going to take you long is just chopping up the apples, really. That doesn't take very long. So. Mm hmm Sorry about that. Whoa. We uh, had to do a bit of a... Sorry about the jump cut. Yeah, we already ate Dessert's gone. all the Sorry, stuff. guys. Uh, ran out of memory on the camera. Anyway, so. all, all we were saying was that we'll be back... We'll be back with soon. another Oktoberfest, yeah. and then we'll be moving on to fall. Oh, back and better than ever. Definitely. Welcome back, Amber. Welcome back, John. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. Good night.